this, so the dentist start this up, has arrived. I've put it in this linear arrangement so that basically you can see everything and see what's going on. But when we actually put it together, of course, it's folded up and, and on a square. But here we've got the burner, cyclone, filter, cooler, pump, leading to that metal pipe that you can see down there, and that's where the gas will come out. So we're going to get it going, and then we'll see if we can light the gas. And if we can do that, we'll see if we can run a generator with it. Now, this is um, started in the same way that everybody starts them. Load your fuel in here, stick some newspaper, light it, door on, turn on the fan, and we should get it to generate. Now, it's supposed to burn just about anything, that any dry biomass, but I was advised to do the first burn with charcoal. So I've got some charcoal here, and that's the first burn that I'm going to give it. When these were first, uh, when these were used during the war, charcoal was the favourite um, fuel to begin with. They began burning other stuff when the charcoal stocks ran dry. So I'm going to set this up, and we'll see if we get it producing. So you can see without the pump, all that's happening is the smoke is coming out. When we turn the pump on, it becomes a downdraft and you'll see that smoke disappear. <laughs> so there you go, being sucked back in. Okay, so this is producing a crazy amount of gas and shooting it right out there. So much so, I can't actually light it here. I have to light it somewhere over here, but it's uh, just a ton of gas, actually. Obviously, that's because the vacuum is too big, and what I need to do is down that vacuum. Well, let's see if we can find the burn point. Yeah. I mean, look at that. I mean, that that is a long way. Mm. Can you see the distance that I'm at from the pipe? Yeah, yeah, you're quite far. Yeah, yeah. And, and look at the flames shooting out. Eh? It's warm as well. I mean, look at that. That's unbelievable. That's really warm. Look how long that is. I mean, that's looking the generator, and I'm. I mean, you know, I'm, what, a foot away from the end of the pipe? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> That's okay, I've dismantled it. everything to give it a chance to cool down. But as you saw, I mean, the problem with it is it's producing too much too rapidly. So I suppose if you're going to have a problem, that's the kind of problem you want, isn't it? Now, like I said, we tried to connect it to the generator, but actually all we did was lean the pipe up against it pretty much in the same way that Randomonium did. And because it was shooting out so far, then it, it wouldn't start it. I mean, what we need to do, obviously, is make a connection to the generator with its own pipe and try that again. But we're producing an awful lot of very clean syn gas that burns beautifully from this unit, and I'm really pleased about that. Now, I'm going to have to do something about the amount it produces. It's, it's far too much for the little jobs I wanted to do. Um, so my thought is to reduce the amount of vacuum. Anyway, there is our home-built gasifier up and running and working. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.